This is Yashafan2004, and this is Let's Play Mega Man X2, X vs. the X-Hunters. Hello, and welcome to episode 4 of Let's Play Mega Man X2. I am your host, Yashafan2004. Now, I lied previously about going directly to Wire Sponge's stage. Instead, I'm going to do a little bit of farming in the Dinosaur Tank stage. Just bear with me for about 30 seconds, and we'll get this taken care of, alright? <clears throat> Part of the reason I'm coming back here is because, uh, now that I have the uh, air dash, there's something here I want to collect. Stupid dinosaur mini tanks. Now remember how I said we'd be seeing this area up here again? This is why. There's a capsule here. Mega Man X, enter the capsule. This enhancement will modify your X Buster. With it, you will be able to charge energy in both arms at once. This enables you to shoot a double shot or to charge any weapon. And there you have it, folks. We now have the foot and arm enhancements. Now, whenever you gather something like that here, you just go over here to where it says exit and press the start button. Now, I believe the X-Hunters are going to shift. Yeah, because of this, the X-Hunters are going to shift their position. And I will have, may, I may go ahead and take on Violin while I'm here. Wire sponge. I'm so gay. Welcome to the weather control stage. By the way, when you first enter the stage, you go here, because there's the turbo heart for this level. Now this stage would be a lot easier if I had the crystal ice, but I don't, so I'm just going to make it rain. Those crystals, I consider those the sun crystals. You break them, it affects the weather. There's a reason I'm going up here. Uh, oops. Here's the first sub-tank in Mega Man X2. Now we're going to skip down here. And you know what? I'm going to do it. If you go down, but not all the way down, there is an X-Hunter right here. X-Hunter gate. And now the gate is active. X, I shall crush you like a tin can. Now he's actually pretty easy. Just watch out for the giant clobber he has. And the thing that he controls off his back. Now, he will not be destroyed by this, but he will turn over. It cannot be. Now the unification is in jeopardy. And he's going to run away. You got zero part number two. Now, if you hit the start button after defeating an X-Hunter, check it out. I've got zero's uh, torso. Now we'll just take the lovely elevator ride. Watch out for the screwdriver heads. Ah. 
And then we go right back out into the weather control stage. Where it is yet again raining and you'll notice something else. It's lightning. Which that also affects the lovely area around here. Those guys right there. If one of those if one of those flying things lands on your head, it causes you to get hit, get struck by lightning. And now we're baking again. Ah. Normally this level's easy, but And now we have normal weather resume. And part of the reason I said, uh, Overdrive Ostrich's weapon would be useful here is that it's Wire Sponge's weakness. With that, and out of all the Mavericks, he's the most entertaining to watch and one of the stupidest sprites I've ever seen. For one thing, he's a fucking sponge. Now he's just going to charge up some thunder and do a funky dance and... And now as he dies he's going to split in half. Because he, he rolls that way. And there you have it, folks. We have now beaten the weather control stage. You got... Strike Chain. Here's the password for this level. Uh, now when we come back uh, from the next episode, I'll be starting a totally different order from what I've been playing. And that is simply because I want to go back to my original order now that I have the equipment I need. So the next level we will be playing will be uh, the Energy and Crystal stage and Crystal Snail. Alrighty folks, this is Yashifan2004 signing off from Episode 4 of Let's Play Mega Man X2.